Hey everyone, in this video today I'll be showing you how to bleed your clutch pedal on a Subaru WRX STI. Uh, this applies to all of them, um, 2014 and onwards, and it'll also work on your earlier models. So that's where the clutch slave cylinder is located. Now on this particular vehicle, it's got a front mount intercooler fitted, so I don't have to worry about removing the top mount. If you've still got the existing top mount, you will have to go ahead and remove that first. And when you remove that, then you'll have clear access to the clutch slave cylinder over there. So we'll be using two-man method today. So we'll get a helper in and we'll get them to push the clutch pedal. So they'll be pushing the clutch pedal in once, twice, three times, or however many times you want it. And you'll get them to hold it. And when they're holding it, that's when you open that bleeder. And you dispel the fluid through a, like a clear vinyl tube into another break fluid um, container there has to be fluid so that it doesn't suck air back into the system so we'll show you that today something worth noting is on these newer models they don't have their own reservoir on top of the clutch um, master cylinder they actually just feed off the brake master cylinder so keep an eye on the fluid over there while you're bleeding out the system and it's an 8 mm spanner to open uh, the bleed nipple okay push okay hold to the floor So at this point as well, you might realize that we'll have to pull up the clutch pedal very slowly. You have to pull it because it'll get stuck at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Hold. Yeah. Pedal stuck to the ground. So you slowly pull up the pedal. Don't forget to check the reservoir over there. Don't forget to check the reservoir. You don't want to run out of fluid. Make sure you clean up that area if you drop any brake fluid and again just check your reservoir there. 